Here comes the mud, guys. Here it comes down the line. We got to pour this footer. So I'm laying blocks right now. I got to jump down and go pour that footer. All right, roll. <laughs> okay, guys. Get truck driver just getting his shoots on. Uh, about a five. Putting his shoots on, washing them up. We're gonna try to hit as much this way as we can. And around the corner here, hit this section, and then we'll probably use the tractor for like this long section here. We can get the truck over here so we can pour that. Stay tuned, guys. Here comes the mud! Right, Frank? Watch everybody, get your boot on. Hey guys, Bondo here. So we're pouring a footer here for a garage that's attached to this Nudura ICF foundation. Um, check out the first video if you haven't seen it already. We uh, we did this, we poured these walls for this Nudura ICF and these are going to be concrete blocks on top of this footer. But here we are just pouring the footer. We got uh, a front loader truck in here and he can reach a lot of it. But we're going to use Carl the Kubota tractor to place some of this concrete, guys. So we're going to get what we can get here. And we're going to have to move this truck around to the other side and then pour that. And uh, we're just kind of screeding it off. Big Biscuit's got a, um, I think he's got a 2x4 or something. He's screeding it off. And I'm just kind of leveling it out as they're dumping it in with a um, come along. It's just a flat rake. And Roy's helping us, so it's just the three of us today. And uh, we're going to wait on the, there's a Bilco pad here. Um, you can see where there's going to be a Bilco door entrance going into the basement from the garage. We're going to pour that last, just to make sure we got enough concrete. We could do that after, so um, that's what we're doing today here. You can see there's a fire in the background. Um, the excavator's burning a lot of brush and stuff, and uh, that's what all that smoke is from. You'll see a bunch of smoke. So now I'm on Carl the Kubota, guys, and you, you can see you can't get a truck down through here very good, so we just decided to use a tractor to place the concrete. We do that a lot. It works pretty good. It was kind of tight quarters there, turning, getting the tractor sideways here, as you can see, to dump it in. But this whole garage that we're building here has got to be filled in. And that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, all this area here is going to be filled in about five feet up. So, um, And it's already got like three feet of cobble rock that the tractor's on right now. There's about three feet of cobble rock. Cause this was a really swampy lot and the excavator in the spring pushed all that off and he put cobblestones down. And that's what we're building on top of. And everything's got to be built up and, and it's got to be done in lifts. So uh, this video is going to, I'm going to show you how we did it in lifts. There's a bunch, I got a bunch of footage of us building this thing up. So um, stay with it. It's pretty interesting how we had to do it. We used, uh, mostly we used Carl the Kubota and my little Yanmar excavator to uh, do that with. I think we're just about done with the tractor here, guys. Yep. Well, now we can reach, so we just used that track the tractor for that section we couldn't reach. Now we can just pour it right out of the truck again. 
Um, you can get around this site pretty good, except that one end that kind of drops off. And they're actually going to dig a pond, and they'll have a bunch of fill that they can fill in this with around the rest of the house. But right now, we're uh, everything we're going to put in is um, we're using some screen gravel, as I'll show you in a little bit. Um, what we use to fill all this in that and with that front porch that I was laying blocks on That also got filled in the whole thing's full of gravel. We did that in eight inch lifts, too And I bought a new tamper and we tamped it. I got a big whacker tamper So this is the Bilko door area the cellar entrance um, We're just screening it off Roy and Biscuit are screening it off with like an eight-foot screed stick and then uh, Biscuit's gonna bow floater here in a minute and there he is, just going to bow float it out. And uh, it doesn't have to have a super good finish because there's going to be a floor poured inside of it after we lay the blocks. And here's me just finishing up the front porch, guys. I got like the last three blocks laying here. Um, this porch, like I said, you can see it's nine courses high. We had to fill that in with gravel. I didn't video that, filling that in, but. As of right now, that's all filled in, and it's all tamped. We tamped it every 8 inches. It was a pain. We had to bring a bunch of material in there. And that's the same case as the garage. It's got to be built up just like that. So it was a lot of work. Um, before we started building this up, we actually core filled these blocks. We core filled where they tie into the Nadura wall. We got rebar tied into the Nadura ball. And that's all core filled. And we core filled it about every five, four, four to five feet. We core filled it. So when we put rebar in it. So that strengthened the wall. So we wouldn't have any issues when we're back filling it. And as we here, here's the trick where we're trying to get the tamper down into the garage. As you can see, the garage blocks are all laid. I didn't get a bunch of footage of us laying all those blocks. But uh, I had a bunch of my buddies come over and we laid all these blocks in on a Saturday. And uh, like I said, it's all core filled at this point, guys. I got the anchor bolts in it and everything. And at this point also, that, that front porch that I was just finishing up is all done and filled with gravel. We're just taking, we took that tamper out of there and we're just going to get it down into this basement. But you can see how much, uh, or this garage, you can see how much dirt we got to bring in this thing. See how low it is where Biscuit's standing. We got to come up to the top of that blue um, waterproof membrane. That's how deep we got to fill this thing in. And uh, we really just use it. Mainly the tractor and the excavator. Is That's pretty much all we use to fill this in. Just to, those two pieces of equipment. And uh, the excavator that brought us all the material. He just kind of dumped it in piles for us. And we just kept bringing it in. So this is how we got the excavator, or the my new tamper down in there, just slinging in with the excavator. Biscuit's going to pull it down the hill, and I'm going to drive the um, Myanmar. That's a BIO 35. It's a little 8,000 pound excavator. It's a handy little tool. So I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, gravel in there, just so I got a little more of a ramp to get down here. Guys, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to put five or six scoops down in there and then I'll drive that sucker right down in there and that's how I got it in there so that we could start our lifts we basically had to pile all that material over the edge with Carl the Kubota so that I could use this as a ramp and once we get down in there we're gonna dig all this material out because this isn't tamped right now so we have to just use that material and spread it around and tamp it and basically dig it all back out of there so it's just put in there just so we could get it in there for one and for two so I could drive the machine down in there and we had to get the material in there one way or another but once we get going everything's got to be done in lifts because we don't want this thing to settle um, that would not be good for the floor for the concrete floor so this is just uh, me sneaking down in there with the excavator and that's how I did it. That's how I got the excavator down in there and starting to build up in our lifts at this point. And that's how we did it. So that this thing doesn't crack, this floor doesn't crack. 
and we're just getting started here. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, here's progress on the Stone Road project. We are filling in this huge garage. It's 32 by 64. And it's nine courses, the concrete block part. This is, over here is Nadura. Concrete block for the porch. We filled the porch in. Garage here. Everything started way low here guys, so we gotta fill all this in. Try to get a view of the outside here you can see how low this is that's all got to be filled in on the outside up to these doorways here where those doors are and you can see the garage doors over here so we've already did three courses and we got four more to do there's four courses from here up to them doors and that's got to be filled in and like i said we also got to fill this outside in and we're compacting this in lifts we're doing this every eight inches. We're putting the material in here. We got Carl the Kubota over here, scooping up the material, dumping it in. We got the little Yanmar VIO 35, and we're spreading it around. And then I got my new tamper, which is a Wacker, a BPU 3750. It's a big, big tamper. I just bought that. Um, so that's what we're doing. And uh, it's, not a lot of fun, I'll be honest with you. But it's got to be done right because when we pour this concrete, we want to make sure it doesn't settle underneath, this material settle underneath. And this is a 3-inch minus. It's gravel that's been screened to 3-inch minus. So everything in there, these stones are nothing bigger than 3 inches. So um, some of the gravel that we had in here before to put around the outside um, was pretty chunky. So the excavator bought a screen and he's been screening his material and this is pretty good to work with guys we don't have a lot of big rocks to deal with and it it seems to be tamping real good we'll tamp this three times we'll go over this with that tamper three times before we put the next layer in so um, that's what i'm going to start doing we just got here and i'm going to start tamping and then i'll put another bunch of gravel in here and do another lift we're kind of using the concrete blocks each layer of the block as a lift because these blocks are eight inches they're normal concrete blocks you can see we went from a 10 inch wall to an eight inch wall that creates a shelf here and that shelf actually the concrete kind of rests on there so that kind of helps too but we're not relying on that we're still compacting because that's going to do nothing for us over here there's no shelf here against the Nadura. So we gotta make sure this is compact. Plus out here, we can't have any settlage. And we'll probably wet this when we're done. We'll flood this, get some water in here. Tanks, tanks of water and flood this possibly if it doesn't rain a lot before we um, pour concrete on top of this thing.
now guys we're on the outside here filling this in you can see we got like a berm of clay just to hold the gravel in so we have to build this outside up at the same height as the inside and that's what that berm of clay is there and we actually have to do this this one side here we have to do it in lists because there's a concrete pad uh, a stamp creek concrete pad that's going to go along this side of the of this garage and it's got a roof over it we got to put some sauna tubes in there with some big foot footers that are actually going to carry some load of the roof but this whole thing's got to be done exactly the same as the inside here you can see we're within one block of the inside we just got to finish one more block in there stay tuned there'll be more footage on this build guys thanks for watching